Hey everybody, uh, happy Sunday to you. We're doing another little vlog at this mall here, Chesterfield Mall. It's one of those malls that's kind of on its last leg. So we've been here several times. So come along with us and we'll show it to you. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, comment if you know of any malls in your area that you enjoyed going to that are closing. And don't forget to subscribe to our page, hit the bell so you get our latest footage. And don't forget we are on Facebook at Arc Adventures and we are also on Instagram and Twitter. So go ahead and check us out and join us on all those pages. Yep, thanks everyone. I think this mall is kind of like uh, the Mills Mall where, where people just do laps. People walk through it. We believe this store here was called Things Remembered. It's where you can get a lot of birthday, graduation, wedding gifts, and they do all sorts of engraving here as well. We were hoping to get a pretzel, so we're not sure if there's another pretzel spot open, but I think that was uh, Auntie Anne's. But instead, you can get probably a 10-year-old gumball out of these machines and stuff. Well, that may work. Apparently the big thing is Chewy Springs. Oh, and we recently did an abandoned Jamestown Mall, which we believe Chesterfield Mall is the sister mall. It has all the same type of skylights and pretty close layout. So Jamestown Mall was Andy's mall. This was more the mall I would go to. biggest thing for kids right here in this open area this mall used to have a giant working carousel this was a cinema cinema I spent most of my money here at Claire's getting earrings. <laughs> so I'm fairly certain we were hoping to find a snack here, the pretzel place. I'm fairly certain there's going to be nothing. Open. Oh, wait, there might be. Okay, we may have found our first open store of these stuff.
Yeah, so this was the food court, and it uh, looks like... I don't know if that looks open or what. Looks open. So this store actually still has candy and different things on the shelves. Check that out. I don't know if it's just deserted now. Giant bit of wings. And then they even have ice cream in this. So the V stock looks like the only open store we've seen so far, but uh, the entrance must be on the street side and not in the mall. Not an outside entrance, upstairs entrance. All right. Interesting. <laughs> wrong. Wrong. Oh, wrong. Right so, I believe we ate here one time, Andrew and I, and I think it was the, was it Raising Canes? And it might have been right here. Although this says it was a great wraps, but if anyone knows if there was raising canes in this food court, drop it in the comments. And, that, and also if we're passing by your favorite spot to eat here in the food court, let us know what it was. Subway. Uh, Subway. Subway. Our second open store here, Lens Crackers. Way to go, Lens Crackers. Alright, we're at Dillard's, but I don't recommend coming here. Water main break. You heard it first. Does anyone know if there's any Dillard's left in St. Louis? And if you do, let us know what where it's at. of the famous gold dress I wore on many of our cruises. Andy and my sister helped pick it out. Memorial Day sale, $120, got it for 18. I had it for the first time here at this mall. Fantastic pizza. If anybody's ever had California Pizza Kitchen, let us know in the comments. Really good pizza, especially you pineapple if you like pineapple. You pineapple? Yes, I did. No, no ham, pineapple. Nope. Yeah, what? We're gonna go with it. 
California pizza. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go with it. Well, we can check out the map. No, oh, it was because you entered there and we walked down here and we ate at a booth right over here. Okay, yep, this is it. Oh, I can taste the pizza now. And there's no working sanitizer. Yeah, bring your own sanitizer, BYOS. Alright, St. Louisans should really know who that is. Alright, and now I'll give it away. If anyone knows when the movie place was last opened, drop it in the comments. We found our new piece. Is this our fourth shop? Yes. And I believe this place not only sells organs and pianos, you can actually take piano lessons here. Could. If Yeah. Well, back before COVID, oh. you could take piano lessons. But in my opinion, Cheesecake Factory, I rather have their desserts than their entrees. <laughs> <laughs> had just about every pinball arcade game you could think of. Yeah. Price is more than we ever want to spend. But A lot of Star Wars stuff is kind of up here.
this was a St. Louis Bread Co. or Panera Bread. And I always liked the patio looking gamey. We actually ate lunch here a year or two ago with my, we met up with my sister and my niece and nephew and good times. Carousel was right out there and we sat right in the patio right yep. here. This place was kind of cool. You could race your RC cars right here and watch from the stands. We got an anchor store here. Used to be. I think those are escalators. Yeah. <laughs> okay, downstairs, and they turned it into a skate park. Yeah, nothing to see in here though. I think I've lost count now. It's either Three the fifth, no, uh -huh. fifth or sixth store that's open. Amazing. It actually looks open. Well, yeah, because you put your shoes on and they watch how you run to see how your gait is and they help you get your shoes. Mm -hmm. Now there's gates involved. Gate with an eye. A gate. Santa. Oh.
was for dying malls, it almost feels like this one is already dead. It, even the mills to me seem more lively. Maybe yeah. it was the skateboarders. <laughs> uh -huh. But so there it is. It's kind of depressing. I didn't really care. And then once I got in, remembering doing Christmas shopping and whatever else, yeah. now it's kind of bum. We did buy luggage here before our cruise. So at the Sears here, we did buy luggage. And then she got the formal dress that we showed you earlier. And we've eaten here. Yeah. Two uh, formal dresses. Two formal. Both yeah. of my formal skin. Formal. We've eaten here several times. All right, well, I think this may conclude our vlog. We've shown everything. So make sure to give us a like and thumbs up. And, and subscribe. Once again, and once again, don't forget to find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. That way you don't miss any of behind the scenes, notifications of videos, and can't forget the still photos. So oh yeah, yep. All right, thanks for coming. Definitely check out our Facebook page, Arc, Arc Adventures. Thanks for watching. All right, thanks everybody.